Welcome everyone, out of the woo here, and may the force be with you. As the recording of this, it is Thursday, May the 4th. Daphne from the Daphne Show is here. We are drinking some water, but I'm sure you're trying the, the sparkling water, the... Yeah, I, drink I the really like it. This is good, I like the sparkling. I only had one of those in my refrigerator. I gave the whole other case to World of Micah because he likes them, and yeah. I kept one or two. So that one's yours. These are good, I like it. Okay. <laughs> Today is Star Wars Day. Star Wars! <laughs> we are gonna go full Star Wars, May the 4th, be with us as we go into Hollywood, Disney's Hollywood Studios. After two, I can scan in because I'm an annual pass holder. All the reservations. You got a reservation because you bought a one-day ticket. We went to Epcot yesterday. Today we're going to studios. You were able to get one, but APs, they were all gone. Yeah. I was like, whoa. However, after 2 p.m., I could scan in now, so you don't even need a reservation. Yay. We have a bag full of goodies. It is an IKEA bag. <laughs> Ikea does not sell Star Wars stuff, but we have brought all kind of good stuff. Oh yeah, all the accessories. Yeah. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to about about today in particular? If you the have lightsaber to. meetup. Every time I ever see in your videos, it just looks so gorgeous. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> it's going to be good. After dark, it is a real beehive of, of lightsaber activity out there. <laughs> and we'll do launch bay. I'd like to meet Vader if possible. Yeah. Merch. They're going to have a lot of merch and they're going to have some food items. Ooh. So I'm going to try not to cheat too much on my diet today, the, the health plan, nothing too, maybe some savory stuff. Maybe one sweet, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see. <laughs> I'm inviting you to join me and Daphne. Shall you? In case you're wondering what's in the bag, what's in the box, what's in, I got Babu Freak over here. I got my droid R2T Woo. I have my cape, not my, my, or my, my sash, whatever you would call it, you put on my Jedi robe. And I got my Return of the Jedi lightsaber, and then a couple other lightsabers that you could choose from for the dark side. So I'll be light side, you'll be dark side. We're, we're kind of just winging it. X-winging it. X, ooh. <laughs> Nicely done. Thanks. Nicely done. All right, Babu. Babu Freak. Also, you're a big Harry Potter fan. You know, the, the voice of Babu Freak is the same as Moaning Myrtle. That's so cool. You're yeah. just so cute. <laughs> and attached to my waist here, I have dark side. I mean, I'm going to have the night in the green a little bit later, but I have the mini saber. And also on my fanny pack, I have Tampa Race fanny pack, Tampa Bay Race fanny pack, I have an Ewok and Return of the Jedi. And at this moment, 138, I-4 westbound, looking smooth. I might get over to the park, it'll be two just in time to scan in. What if the Mickey Power Pole likes or dislikes Jar Jar Pinks? Yeah, I just remembered Mandalorian and Grogu are going to be back in there too, and I imagine it's going to be very, very busy back in Batu today. What are you saying? Yeah, yeah. What's that, Fabu? Yeah, I'm noticing a lot of APs are showing up at two now too to scan in. Everyone is bringing their sabers up. Just to show some of the sun visors on the cars, check it out. We got the ad outs there. Of course, Mickey gets for Disney. Mandalorian, there's Grogu. And take a look over here. This is the quintessential. When you think of like a Star Wars sun visor, you always think of this. You see these all the time. Awesome. Yeah, I want to show kind of hard in the bag here, and then... <laughs> oh, he's talking. <laughs> Don't let Babu scare you. Hey, Dan, it did for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right on Hollywood Boulevard, I'm stopping off in this store, and I'm already seeing some merch I've never seen. Check it out, the Ewok, the same Ewok that I have down here on my fanny pack is in here in the helmet from Jedi of the Stormtrooper. Right. Oh, what the heck, look at this. Return the Jedi 40 job of the hut in Salacious Crumb. That is, oh my gosh. I am gonna spend some freaking money. It's Leia's indoor outfit. I mean, it's, it is indoors. I mean, if it was outside and Galaxy's Edge, they sell one similar to this. That is awesome, $79 for that. Here's the forest moon of indoor here with the scout trooper, the speeder bike trooper. Force ghosts, so not the force ghosts, but the ghosts at the end down there. Man, that's that. I am so glad that they have Return of the Jedi 40th merch. This is the coolest freaking thing. I saw Jedi the other night. 
in the theaters. And here is a plate, a set of four plates down there. Yeah, here, this is the interesting thing. It doesn't show who shot first or second on that. So this the, yeah, the jury is still out. Man, I know my decision. It was Han. Han shot first. We have found the line for merchandise over at stage one next to Muppets and Mama Melrose underneath the top rated rat pizza. And this place is booming back in here. Different merch than is in the other store. Okay, it's now 229. Evidently, the May the 4th merchandise event over by Muppets is completely filled up. There are no more. It says, uh, merchandise event has reached capacity for today. No groups are going to be assigned. So we might not be able to get in there. We did ask to a cast, cast member. They said, come by a little bit later. Maybe when the crowd dissipates, we can go in. But as of right now, anyone that scanned in a two cannot get a virtual queue. So kind of dropped the ball on that one. Speaking of ball, I'm going to get a... Uh, I don't know where I'm going with that. I was trying to say I was going to get one of the, the thermal detonator Coca-Colas and Sprites, but Sprite trying to make one. Hello. Hi. I think we're going to do. I think we're going to do two of the Dasanis. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah, that's it. So you guys made the commute all the way from Hoth. Yeah. How how is it in the Florida heat? Oh, I know. Well, so they got they had the wrong outfit it's on. Just like home. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of people over here just kind of like waiting by the little gateway for Mando and Grogu to possibly walk out. I always look at this door and I think of maybe a Rancor would come out. I kind of mentioned that in another video and Peter from Ordinary Adventures told me something kind of neat that this door is modeled after the Return of the Jedi door when 3PO and R2 are walking up to Jabba's palace. Fun fact, which now I see it. Yeah, I never know if he's going to walk out this way or if he's going to walk out through the marketplace. But if any day you want to see Mando and Grogu, it would be today. Right, Babu? Is that right? That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. You don't know? You don't know? I think, maybe, I think maybe he knows. I think he knows. I think he knows. Yeah, I think he just has oh, a... Oh, he knows. Look at that face. When do you think he's going to be out, out of here, Babu? What do you think? Oh, you're not going to tell me? Oh, man. Fail. Yep, everyone is dressed. Very nice. Okay, this is a new sipper. Do you have to buy a drink along with that? Or yeah. get it by the drink? Because of the soda? Yeah, and it lights up. Very nice. Specifically for today. Any sign of Mando yet? No. no yeah. yet. I've been looking. For... No, is that a sad trombone? <laughs> all right. Said, Screw Mando. Screw, oh, all right. All right. Hey, watch your mouth. Watch uh, your auditory circuit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at down here. Who's this? Oh, this is Grogu Zeb Aurelius. Grogu? Grogu Zeb Aurelius. Aurelius? Yeah, that's his name. It's like an alternate universe, Grogu? Yeah, he's, uh, it's like a baby with sock. Okay. He's yeah. from Rebels. Zeb, yeah. Zeb Aurelius. Okay. And yeah. that's uh, an offspring, apparently. All that's, right, I yeah. like that. That's him. Yeah. Well, thanks. Nice talking to you guys. Thanks, you too. May the fourth be with you. May the fourth be with you. Always. This is madness. What is happening? See him, Babu? Oh, he's going, he's going in. Is that it? Is that it? That was it. Yeah, that was it. He's out for like two minutes. Oh, wait, he pulled the old trickaroo, went back, and then came back out now to walk through. So there's still a chance, Babu. There's still a chance to meet Grogu. You know, I know, I know. Everybody likes Grogu. That's just how. So I'm in this way. Sweet. Go, go, go. Please step down from there. Please step down from there. Sir, please step down from there. Sorry. No. That's correct. If he eats that, you're not going to want to die. <laughs>
I don't know. He looks hungry, Babu. Get away from him. Hmm. I see you admire the Jedi. <laughs> Good. Well, here, here, right here. Mando. 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 You look adventurous. If you're ever dared to eat a sorghum frog, head first. Much easier. That's it. Clear the way. Clear the way for him. Clear the way. I'm so happy Babu met, remember, met Grogu. Look, he's like speechless right now. <laughs> speechless. What'd you think about that? You're, yeah, you're excited. <laughs> what did you think? You just drank a swig of water. What'd you think about your first interaction with, with the Mandalorian and Grogu? Oh, East Coast Mando? Yeah. It was cool. <laughs> did Grogu notice your headwear? Um, he gave a little wink, a little gave smile. Gave a little wink, a little, little <laughs> and a nod. A little giggle. Yeah. He's pretty cute, though. Yeah, that crowd is wild. Grogu's not too bad, either. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people. This is insane. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Turn bad very quickly. Oh, yeah. Mando's a brave soul to be in that crowd. <laughs> Hold the second arm by the tentacle. It'll latch on while you swallow and fight while the coat is still found. Time to travel. What are you to the people? This is the time to move out. Thanks for the welcome. This is the way. Get out here, Amanda. Bumped into the presidential tourist, YouTube's own presidential tourist. What did you just say about trying to meet Manda? It was easier to get close to a president of the United States than I actually have done that <laughs> than getting close to him. Is that why you got the name the presidential tourist? Yeah, it was, I love politics and history and all. All right, stuff. cool. So it was easier to meet a, a living U.S. president than to meet Manda. Yeah, I got I saw Gerald Ford. I got, all right, I got really close to him. Cool. If you ever meet Manda, tell him you met a president, and tell him <laughs> it's easier to do that. Cool. It's good to see. I, also, Babu Freak's here. Are you familiar? Have you ever met him? Uh, not this close, but... <laughs> yeah, it it's good to see you, man. All right, George, I gotta ask you a question. Who shot first? Uh, Han shot first. Thank you. Han's the only person that shot. Han shot Greedo. You heard it from me. I love it. You have a little, uh, what do you have over here on your hip here? You have a little washboard? There you go. Lucas. Action! Very nice. I'm glad you showed up. Wow. Glad you showed up today. I love what they did in my place. You love it? Yeah, you approve. May the force be with you. Always. All right, we are now heading over to Star Wars Launch Bay. We were going to go in and hopefully meet Darth Vader. But while we're in here, kind of look at uh, some of the other stuff around here. I might even take the droid out. I might even take R2T Wu out and roll him around in there as well. Because I haven't took I haven't took the droid out and you know inside Launch Bay, they're always they're always looking for the droids that they're looking. Uh, that joke didn't work. Launch Bay might be in the mood for looking for some droids, and then if it is, you know, the cast member say, oh, those are the droids we're looking for. Still not, still not a, a great, great joke. But yeah, Launch Bay, I'm really kind of surprised it is still around at this, at this time frame. Uh, it's been around for a while, but the popularity has kind of weaned a little bit. But today, obviously, because it's May the 4th, going to be a heck of a lot of people in here trying to meet characters and just kind of enjoy the, the ambiance of Launch Bay. And I'm really disappointed how I failed at the, these are the droids you're looking for joke. But you know what? You can't, can't, they can't all be home runs. And I should also mention I got myself a piping hot caffeine. Oh, there's some Ewoks right there. And Ray. But I got myself a piping hot caffeinated beverage. Get a little, uh, little caffeine in the old system. All right. It kind of worked out now. You do not need a virtual queue anymore after 430. So at 440, they opened up the queue line. Anyone can just walk in here and look at the merch. I'm hoping there's still going to be some left. We got some of the Greedo hats over here. And here is the t-shirt, or at least the display of the t-shirt there. Star Wars Day, May the 4th be with you, 2023. And I also like this one as well, which is kind of nice. Got Greedo, 3PO, got the Jawas down there. It's got the guy from the cantina. Uh, it looks kind of like Doc Ondar, but it's like Hammerhead from the original, original one as well. Speaking of cantina, check out these, hood these hoodies right here. Take me to the cantina. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Oh, that's super. Oh, you know what? This is the cantina from Batu because here oh, is the. Ogre. Yeah, it's Oga's cantina. Well, that's nice. So it's not like the movie cantina. That's actually super cute. It is. We actually got in here. I didn't think we were going to be able to get in here. No, we made it. We and walked it worked. right in. Yeah, we just walked right in. Not too shabby. All right, there's plenty of t shirts left over here, too. With the aqua blue t shirts here. 
Hey, how you doing? Look, look how grumpy Chewy looks right there. He does not look happy about the amount of people that are here for May the 4th. Actually, I haven't seen Chewy today yet either. We were going to meet Darth Vader over at Launch Bay, but the line was 45 minutes, so we opted out of that. Also, this is the old Muppet store, so very rarely is this ever open, only for special events to go into the Muppet area. Now you can see there's quite a few people in here. You can see there's Miss Piggy up there. There's the Hollywood sign, the Rainbow Connection, and here is the pins. Now they are limit two per guest. Now if you take a look, you've got Electric Mayhem up top and you got Dr. Teeth up there from the old Muppet shop up top there as well. And some Muppet stuff over there. I know it's hardly ever, it's rare that you can ever come in here anymore. And also there was two different pins that I ended up getting. I ended up getting that Greedo pin, which is here. And then there's this one, which was, I think it was $54. It has the Grumpy Chewy on it, has 3PO, has R2, has the Jawas, it has, it has a Greedo on there. And yeah, I collect pens, so I like having like special edition pens, and I figured these are probably, what's there gone? Oh, limited edition, only 4,000. Sometimes I wonder if actually they're really only 4,000 of these made, but if I do, I have one of the 4,000. I'll just kind of keep these sealed, throw them in a bag, and later in life I have a lot of, I'll have a lot of, a lot of memories to look back on, whether it be videos or merchandise. Like, and I like having pens too because they don't take up a lot of room. Kind of like postcards. Postcards and pens and magnets. I like that. Now Starbucks also has the Been There series of some of the different lands and areas of the planets from the Star Wars franchise. Like this, I think I actually have the larger version of the Tatooine one, and I have the larger version of that Batuu one. So these have been around for a while, the indoor, but I I think these over here are the new ones. Ooh, even Hoth. I don't think I've seen the Hoth one. But technically, I think these three are the brand new ones. But these are like miniature. These are like, like you could almost use these as uh, like a toothpick holders or some sort of like a, like a shot glass or something. Espresso. Espresso. Is that what they're called? Espresso, Espresso cup. <laughs> yeah, and then over here they have the full size mugs. So they don't have the, like the miniature mugs. They have the full size mugs over here as well. I don't even know if they have these at Starbucks. I think they're only in the specific store. Yeah, this kind of has a two part reason to be in here to see all this Muppet stuff, which is pretty cool. Look at chickens only past this point. I guess we can go past it because I'm a chicken. A couple other friends have arrived, Splore and Ryan and Greg, Greg's game room. So when you see the monkey lizard, do you know what the monkey lizard's name is, either one of you? I do. Yes. All right, go, give it to me. Salacious Crump. Nice. There we go. Also known as a monkey lizard. I don't, I don't necessarily care for calling it monkey lizard. No? I, I feel it cheapens, it, it's a salacious crumb. But it's, there's only one salacious crumb, that maybe that's the, the terminology of the species. I don't want to. I don't want to do spoilers here. Yeah. But if you start watching the new season of Mandalorian, I've seen it. They go by a tree. Yes. 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 And there, there are there are salacious crumbs. Yeah. Crumb. Lots of crumbs. Lots of crumbs. I hear they're really tasty. But please me to another point. This is Babu Freak. But what is his species name? Uh, super freaks. Oh. -ho! Super freaks? Super freaks. He's not a monkey lizard. Super freaks. <laughs> Super this, is a, this is a New Orleans droid, right? Am I that right with the is that New Orleans on the side? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who that? There we go. It's actually W4D4. Who that 44? W4Z4. D4, D4, W4D4. W4D4. Very nice. So cool. He's not like a scoundrel. He made that? He's not a scoundrel? He's not a scoundrel. He's just a Saints fan, so when he comes out of Galaxy, yeah. we go to the games together. I love it. And New Orleans is a rough and tumble place, so he carries I've my, been there. I've been there. He carries my saber. There you go. And the antenna just gives me a, an ability to sneak in. That's an antenna? The rest of my uh, saber. Oh, wow. Holy so, cow. You know, we're ready to go. You're ready to I'm rumble? It doubles as a Ghostbuster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're ready to both. <laughs> That's cool, back. man. That's cool. You got the droid on. This is the droid I'm looking for right here. Very nice. Who is this? This is BB-11. BB-11? BB-11. What is it? BB-11. BD-11. Very nice. Nice to meet you. I gotta say, it is really, really, really busy out here. This is the line stretching all the way back over that way for Doc Ondars. Here's the other lightsaber line for Doc Ondars. This is gonna be a madhouse in here this evening. It is already a beehive of activity and it's still really early. It's not even Means dusk or nightfall yet. It's still set between the Okay, going back to the car, we put the merchandise up, put the droids up, put Babu Freak up. 
and I have never seen since pre-2020 closures and reopenings this parking lot over here full. This in parking lot is completely full for Star Wars Day. I mean, usually this is full, but it doesn't stretch all the way back there. And take a look at this. That's great. R2 peeking out the back there. Well, hit R2, see what you can do with it. <laughs> yeah. the, I mean, the parking's all the way out there and over here. This is wild. It's gonna be busy in there. Okay, switched out some stuff. I now have the robe, which I'm gonna put on in a little bit. It's kind of gonna be kind of warm, but I figured why not? I also have my Luke Ignite the Green, which I will show a little bit later. And you have your I have Kylo Kylo Ren saber. Used this last year. I'm so excited. I have mini Kylo saber. And oh, I that's right. Look at that. Kylo saber. You have the small one on your waist, <laughs> and you have the full Kylo right there. Double. Heading back in. This car's got a couple troopers behind the wheel. And there's another one of the, the OG windshield sun visors. They're everywhere out here. There's another one right there. Also, they're letting us pass. Just look how many cars are pulling in here right now. They're all trying to get to the front to see if they got a spot, but all the spots up there are full. Yeah, you gotta watch where you're sticking. Watch where you're sticking that thing. And now heading back through Toy Story Land. Gonna be going over to Batu. Ordered a mobile order for Docking Bay 7. And now back in Batu for the rest of the evening. It is about to go down. But first, gotta get a little little meal for the eve. Docking Bay 7. I wanna know where the inflatable Grogu came from. Right there. Oh, it almost flew away. The inflatable. Grogu is not sold on property, but it's entered the park. I guess it has an annual pass that can get in after two. All right, my mobile order's ready. I'm showing these again, you get both of these items. I'm getting a salad though. I'm not gonna get the raspberry cream puff with passion. Fruit mousse going in. Hello. I'm, I'm ready to, I'm ready to, to feed myself. Not really a lot of seating inside docking bay, but luckily we found a little table over here in the corner. This is the grilled chicken salad, and you went with the tip yip with the mac and cheese. Yeah. Chicken and I, tip yip. I've never gotten it before, I'm excited. I've had it before, it's pretty good. You got the broccoli on there as well. What's the ranch for? Are you gonna dip your tip yip in the ranch? Any opportunity for ranch, I'll take it. <laughs> Watermelon. So I'm going with uh, kind of a healthy thing. I'm trying to eat a lot of grilled stuff and a lot of salads. Now I've gotten the salad before, but my downfall before is I would get this and that at the same time. So this is not one of the holiday, the, the Star Wars, you know, the Star Wars Day meals. But everything really was not a savory. It was a dessert and high in sugar, and I didn't really want to eat anything too horrible. So I'm going just a traditional item that you can get anytime not just on May the 4th, so I just didn't, I don't, I feel like I don't have to always eat sweets all the time just because they have them, so I'm not. Sweets, treats, and soda. The Jedi craves not these things. Just salad and water. One thing I will say, that is probably the most people I've ever seen crammed inside docking bag. Doesn't this kind of remind you of being at a convention? Absolutely. I kind was of, just thinking that this reminds me of like opening day. So. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Adam's gonna go eat $30 worth of sushi. No. Yeah. <laughs> it has like a convention vibe, everyone dressed up. Yeah, there are just a few people here. There are just a few people here. Oh, I see Boba Fett. There is an entire bushel of Mandos down there. And I always like to pour it out. The most horrifying thing in here is this Ewok. Usually Ewoks are cute and cuddly. That one is something that would give you nightmare fuel. Is that 3PO right there? I think it is. I think it's 3PO over there. Now I've been to a few lightsaber meetups. I don't know if I've ever been to one on May the 4th. But I have to say, this is probably going to be one of the biggest events that's happened back in here since the park opened. All right, I'm just looking around for anyone that's caught. 
Wait a second, something is amiss here. We got the park hop. Yeah. yeah. You got the park hop. Studio to studio, you know? Oh, okay. So we were like, let's go to studio. We're here. <laughs> oh, we got a we got a Jedi over here that has a bone let's to go. pick with you. Let's go. Okay, okay. I'll let you be peaceful. I'll let you pass. Thank you guys. And here is a look right now at the crowd level through that particular section there over here by the mechanics. Buy or V, we can't was it buy or V do we decide? Six up top there. You say it's short for Vivian? I say it's short for Vivian, so you just say bye. In case you were wondering, those droids you were looking for? Yeah, those are them. They're back right here. They're moving. I didn't know they moved. All right, over in front of Kylo's ship, there is quite the congregation of people already. I don't see Kylo. Oh, I see a lightsaber spinning around over there in that little corridor in the darkness. I love it. Thank you so much. Do not want you getting hurt. Here comes Han Solo and Carbonite. Rolling through. Chewbacca, is that you? Chewie? Chewie! Chewie! You're home! Do you know where and when they do the picture with the lightsabers? I think at 9.45. 9.45? That's my parody. All right, everyone is waiting for something to happen over here at Kylo's ship. However, I don't think anything is going to happen at Kylo's ship. I think everyone is just waiting for nightfall to rear its head. Spoiler alert, no one is going to walk out of here. No one, no one. But that's not stopping everyone from waiting patiently to see what is gonna happen. How long will this noise carry on? stand here pointing at this other people see me doing that and they think oh something must be about to happen spoiler alert no nothing is going to happen with Kylo's ship here it does this weird long noise thing about this time every night but don't tell anyone it's kind of interesting everyone's waiting I think even if I tried to tell everyone, they wouldn't be able to hear me. Everyone's still waiting patiently for nothing to happen. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Hopes up for Kyla? Yeah, I thought I was going to say Kyla. I mean, that landing was like 45 seconds long. That's a long landing. It never came out. <laughs> nope. No Kyla. No Kylo. He was like, Ky, no. Ky, no. What do you think of the blue milk? Blue you guys milk. both got blue milk. It's blue not bad. It's better than I thought it would be. It's a little better than the green milk. It's a little fruity. It's a little I fruity. It was overly sweet. I don't think it is. It's sweet, but I don't think yeah. it's like it's Excuse me. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Did you see everybody getting their hopes up that something was going to happen out of Kylo's ship? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Ran over here? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. No, nothing. Somebody hit the app and it just went off. <laughs> Met up with another friend, Jojo, is hey here, guys, who Mr. just so happens to be celebrating one, one million subscribers. Million YouTube subscribers. It's kind of nuts. It's kind of yeah. crazy. And this, what a better place to celebrate than. You know what would be great? <laughs> what? Oh, it just, it's Blue milk on Jojo! Oh, 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 Blue wait, milk wait, on wait, Jojo! No, not literally no, no, on no, Jojo. No, no. I mean, oh, he's buying. Oh, listen, oh, he's okay. buying. He said green milk, maybe. Oh, okay, green milk. <laughs> Dude, I, mess, I, was looking all over I messed that up. All the time. <laughs> oh my God. He's one of the one mil. <laughs> he, just hit, he just hit one mil. 
Yeah, I did. So I made it the last lightsaber meetup, yep. and you got a different droid this time. Droid this time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Very nice. Yep, thank you. Cool. And what's the backstory on this one? Yeah. All right, so these two yeah, are together. No, 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 no. So this is Maggie. Maggie. And she's kind of the scout. Okay. So she goes out, she finds stuff. And then this, this guy is Scrappy. Okay. So he goes in and recovers whatever it is that she finds. Okay, gotcha. Very cool. I don't really know what this line over here is for. Maybe a photo op of some sort. I can already see a lot of sabers in front of the Millennium Falcon down there. And if you wanted to get inside inside the cantina, probably is not going to happen. That place is really, really full. There's already a makeshift meetup going on over here. Uh, I got to turn mine on and get in here with this. This isn't even the official one. But it's already, look at this, this is like elbow to elbow through here. And you know what, do you know what? This is quite the amount of people already. Oh, it's already getting loud. Let me get over this way. I gotta get up in here. Look at all the people up on the stairs.
Another line for photos over this way as well. Walking back over this way, oh, there's two BB units right there in the sky. And about 20 30 minutes is when the official photograph meetup starts. This isn't even anything official, this is just all pre game. I think they're saying Dagobah or stick them up or put them up, one of the two. I think they're saying Dagobah. Pretty good. This is kind of like the action area right here for this guy. Oh my gosh, that startled me. That's wild. So I was just thinking, imagine if one of the characters walked up here. Like imagine if Kylo or Chewie walked out of here, or Ray. Anybody walked out up top there. Mando walked out there with Grogu. Everyone would lose their ever-loving S. Very oh, cool. they're actually chanting Mando over there. I think Mando will show up if he gets chanted enough. So the Grogu chant going now.
This is the start of the line here. It stretches all the way down. Get, hello. Look at this, all the way. I don't know how this is going to work exactly. This is going to be madness trying to get everybody in over there. How far does it stretch? So this is everyone trying to get up front and get in the photo, but I'd rather just kind of document it from afar. I'm going to go back over near Kylo's. So a few people in this line. Whoa. I thought this was the photo pass photo first. <laughs> 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 It's impressive. Most, Most impressive. impressive. <laughs> oh, there's five. Yub nub! Yub nub! What is it? That's the real yub nub? Yes. Oh, hey, this is a yub nub from Ogus. Oh, sorry. You don't know the power of May the 4th. Very nice, Vader. Good to see you, Vader. It's good to have some old school characters in here. I know, I really wish you were here. Like, just do like, have some pretty good lighting right here. I see you have constructed a new lightsaber. And you have constructed a new lightsaber. And you have constructed a new lightsaber. The reason I have good lighting is because right down here is this yellow light. Very nice. So right now, everyone's about to head over here and get line up for the photo, which is going to be pretty wild when everybody crams in here. All right, another loop here before everyone gets corralled over. You can see it stretches all the way back now down the corridor. Got some people with their sabers up in the air way down there. I just don't know how they're going to do the big photo in front of the Falcon with this many people. It's going to be interesting. I mean, it's like stretches way up here. Everyone's got their sabers up in the air. Hey, how's it going? Well, this is all the way over your Toy Story Land. Look at this, all the way around. So it stretches all the way up here, past, it all goes all the way over to Buzz Lightyear. Almost, you can even see, you can even see Slinky Dog going by in the distance. So the sabers go in here, they loop around and they turn and go all the way back down. That's for the light, the lightsaber meetup. Hey Adam the Wolf. How you doing man? Good. I talked to one of the guys that's organizing it, there's quite a few of them. He was saying they want to have about 150 people in front of Kylo's and then they want to bring in another group of 150, another group of 150, and they want to try to have everyone in front of the Falcon, which, oh my lord. I have got to stick around for the Falcon photo. I love it though. This is what Batu is for. This kind of community turnout. This is what it's all about. That's why I'm glad this land exists. Ready and waiting. Isn't that a lot of people? So many people. I've never seen so many light tapers ever. Yeah, here comes Han Solo again, Carbonite. It just keeps, keeps, keeps going. 
If we go this way and get a good spot in front of the Falcon, we'll have a good angle. All right, now this is right right way over to the Falcon. Save us the antenna down there. see Yoda over there. Someone's got Yoda hoisted up on the lightsaber. Oh, Yoda's going up high. Lightsaber meet up you with. I'm noticing the unofficial pre-party with the Sabres was a lot more congested than now. They're really keeping it down to a certain amount of numbers, only letting about 150, 200 for the groups. And now there's another group all the way down there by Kylo's ship. I don't know if they're going to have everyone kind of mob down over in here. Probably not. Basically, we're just going to have everyone disperse now. There's a whole other group. I thought they were going to have everyone really kind of fill it up like they had earlier. So it's not quite as intense as I thought. I mean, it's definitely... Now they're shuffling everyone over that. Maybe everyone's going on to smugglers. Now everyone gets a fast pass to smugglers. You know, well, the park's closed. But yeah, there's probably like another 800 people down there that's got to come over and take a photo, so... There are a few people over here settling some, uh, some discrepancies and some altercations with igniting <laughs> lightsabers. A duel! And as quite a few of the sabers are heading this way, I'm going to head back out the other direction. I think I'm gonna head out. I think I caught the good section of it when there was like literally a thousand people in front of the Falcon earlier. There was like a thousand people over there igniting all the sabers earlier today. That was something to behold. Again, that's why I love the fact that Star Wars Land Batuu exists or events like this. What a great time. You know, this and Life Day. This is a little bit bigger than Life Day. But both of those. Two great Star Wars holidays. Ending with the Mickey Power Pole from a different angle. Well, kind of the same angle. May the fourth be with you, Mickey Power Pole. That's going to do it for today. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is...